Oh! Hello, welcome back to another episode of the studio. My name is Adam and it's time for yet another <laughs> Let's Watch. Seriously, I love this segment so much because I love watching all of your amazing performances, whether it's in the marching world, the concert world, any other world, it doesn't matter. It's just really, really cool to see great music. If you'd like to submit your own videos to this segment, make sure you go to the Discord at adamtambercussion.com forward slash Discord and you can submit in either the Let's Watch Concert, Let's Watch Marching or Let's Watch Feedback channels for whatever you're looking for. Yeah, everybody seems to love marching style videos, like for example, this timpani iron e solo reel that I made a while back, or this Matrix 2015 proposal thing. Even a lot of my friends here in Perth who don't know anything about marching because we don't have much marching here, they're always a bit like, whoa, I didn't know you could propose on stage. Well, neither did I. <laughs> but that brings me to the first submission, which is Ray Bay. Not my video, but I love these guys and they seriously deserve all the praise they get. Seriously, one of the best percussion sections I've ever had the pleasure of marching with. They're just pure talent, all of them. But anyway, Cavalier 2022, ninth place overall, seventh in percussion. Seventh is pretty good, and also, yeah, I have seen a few Cavaliers videos on the channel before, and I'm really excited to see a Marimba cam because I love cams. And let's watch. Okay, so here's the starting shot of the front view, and we can see the Marimbas are Yamaha with the rack setup. We've got the huge, chunky frames once again. Actually, those wheels are pretty small. They're almost the same size as my Marimba one. <laughs> but yeah, we've got also a whole bunch of moving blankets kind of just draped over the top of the room. That's interesting. And we've got matching shirts at the front. We've got the blessed shirts. <laughs> Looks good. All right, let's go. Okay, it's this melody. Checking the time on the watch, okay. All right, I'm guessing there's gonna be some really heat marimba run coming now, okay. Oh, it's still going. It's still going! It's still going! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That went forever! <laughs> that's amazing! That was literally like the longest individual move run and that's literally like the first few bars. What? It's still going! <laughs> Got some busy marimba parts. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, those dotted rhythms are so precise. Wow, we even got the pin drop, the cymbal crash. Very nice. Oh, one handed roll. Transition from the single stroke to one handed roll is very clean. Very nice. Transition to softer mallets and back to harder ones, I'm guessing. Look at that side on placement. Very nice. Oh, okay, we've got some GameCube style runs here. Wow. They just they just pull it out. With such high height as well, wow! Oh, <laughs> the, the steering with the Snoop Dogg steering wheel. These runs are weird, how do you... Oh yeah, back to the ladder. Oh, splits, okay, very nice. Yeah, the runs are like very, very interesting. Not straight scales, a lot of interplay, a lot of mixing. I like it. Well, the brass is just kind of doing their brass flex in fades. <laughs> this is wild. Remember's really ferocious, look at that. Oh, holding the triangle like a dancer. If only I held my black slump triangle like that. <laughs> That triangle goes home. Back to Maletos, let's go. Oh, the brass sounds really good actually. Alright, GameCube, let's go. Oh, brass sounds really good. Yeah.
Oh, very nice. I love the, the pull stroke like that. It like goes against gravity almost. It's normally we pull like this, right? It's like <laughs> very clean, very nice. All right. Now this sounds like advertisement music. Have you ever seen thunder? Have you ever seen lightning? Lightning McQueen. Ka-chow. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> very nice octave. Look, legitimate octave grip too. It's not thumb out. Wow. Very impressive. How did they even pull that acceleration so smoothly? Oh, I love the turn to the side and turn back. That's very clean. Clean. Oh, it's back. Wow, the accuracy of these runs is very high. Woo! Very nice. This is a really cool brass finisher though. Very nice. Imagine having that brass right in your ear as you play this section. I would literally go deaf. <laughs> They're really feeling these cymbal crashes, eh? Woo! It's the longest cadence ever! Nice. Very nice. Ooh! Wow, this is nice! What, the vocals? Wow, okay. Let's make a TikTok. TikTok too, let's make a TikTok. <laughs> what? <laughs> TikTok, you don't stop. Oh, TikTok. Wow, the feel changed completely. That halftime feel. Okay, wait, why did the audio just stop? Oh, flex the tone. GTA San Andreas. What is that? Clave's on. Yeah, Clave's on Marimba. Interesting. I personally wouldn't endorse this technique, <laughs> but hey, if it works, it works. Let's go. Oh, back to the fu- Ooh! Welcome to the final show! Oh, 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 oh! Long triplet run to semi but let's go. Look at that Malahide, that's insane. I'll just borrow the vibes player's symbol, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I like that. The symbol, symbol split thing. That's very nice. Oh, right, well the triangle beater. <laughs> the triangle beater just got tossed over the side. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Oh, excellent. Let's go. Ah, very nice. Very nice. Okay. Wow! I have never seen runs that are so long. <laughs> you know, like fatigue builds up really fast on those semi-quaver type of runs where they just keep going, 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 going. And when you're doing laterals, even if your laterals are really good, like forearm tension starts to build up eventually. Even the best players in the world will eventually get a little bit of forearm tension. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this performance. Even though I've never played in marching before and I've never played in a front ensemble, I love watching stuff like this because it really inspires me to try and 
get better at playing these kind of really technical parts. It's just really nice to see how far you can push percussion and how far you can push this kind of marimba technique where you just play really fast, but it's still really in your face. I've actually just finished writing an advanced level two mallet piece called level 100, which is extremely difficult to play, not just because there are difficult runs, kind of like this, but also because of cross rhythms and things like that. And it just, a lot of it was inspired by a lot of these kinds of marching style runs. But yeah, I love watching marimba camps like this. And obviously I could never do something like this, especially at my age now, I'm approaching 30. <laughs> it's just really, really awesome. Thank you so much for submitting this. And if you enjoyed the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. Our second submission is from Enna who gave us three videos and they are all infinity percussion but I think the different levels of infinity percussion one two and three so all three did solid and infinity two almost got a record according to some infinity three people I know infinity percussion let's this is this is go I don't want to make this video length too long so we're just gonna watch infinity percussion one the main infinity percussion just to see what this is about I have heard of this before from some people where they have like canvases or something and they kind of paint over it interested to see how this goes because I've never seen live painting in a WG or any any percussion context for that matter so hey, let's watch okay so I can already see all of the canvases are lined up and I'm guessing people are hiding behind these canvases which would be kind of awkward for the people watching <laughs> from behind they can probably see everything I think this is one of the things that I love about WGI style ensembles I know this is not WGI it's FFCC I'm guessing that's another side thing that isn't WGI but the style is WGI right with all the indoor visuals and stuff. And I just love that attention to detail. It's one of the things I absolutely love seeing on this channel is when they care about things that normal people would not notice. <laughs> All right, let's go. Process, 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 process. Start thinking about an idea that grows in your mind. Start to feel it in your body. Wow, then you these tricks are nuts. All right, here we go, go. paddles moving. Play some games, watch TV, watch for myself. Performing the program. For my show. The FFCC is proud yeah. to be Oh, that's clean. That's clean. I like that. And then she disappears. And then what? Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. You're just popping out like that. That means there's like, they're all standing in like lines together. To be able to hide that many people is insane. Whoa, that's slick. Oh, that split us. That's so slick. And then front ensemble comes up. Whoa. Okay, I know this is like the easy part, but still, this is so impressive. The panels are so cool. Yep, the panels are on that same angle. And everyone comes out. It's just very clean. Oh, that was very fast. How'd they get in that formation so quickly? Wow. My battery is on fire. Oh! <laughs> Wow, they snapped. They really snapped. Let them cook. Nice. All right, drum set comes in. All right, the painting. Here's the painting. Oh, the marimbas sound great. With the wavy laterals. Wave of laterals. <laughs> oh, I like the da -da 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 -da. that's pretty cool. The logistics with this kind of like sliding panel stuff is so difficult. Woo! It's a nice clean run. Oh, that's clean. That's clean. Look, look, the transition from the. Oh, that's clean. That is so clean. You basically get to control the stage when you have panels like this. That is so clean. Oh, that split, that split. Symbols out. That was sick. Look at the symbol flipping, that's nuts. 
<laughs> that triplet though. Oh. Oh, that control acceleration, that's... I still don't get how you do that. Right, let's go, tenders. Let's go. Oh, that was very clean. Clean rim shot right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Whoa, 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 those laterals. Very nice. Nice piano solo. Wow. Using the space. Really using the space, I like it. Wow, so clean. Sounds like one person. How do you get the diddle separation so clean? That's very clean, I like it. All the snaps, all the stops were so in top of each other, all of the features were so good, everything was just... Oh, so immaculate, so tasty. I especially love the use of the panels. I'm guessing this is just a preview of the full thing because it seems quite short even for WGI standards, but it would be kind of cool if all of the paintings sort of line up and they kind of become like a drawing or something. I wasn't sure if that was the intention or if they were just random lines and stuff, but that would be kind of cool. I've never seen rolling canvases used to that extent in percussion, definitely in other disciplines like dance and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can basically control the stage shifts in real time by using stuff like that. So whoever designed this show with those sliding panels, absolutely genius. Absolutely high caliber playing from Infinity Percussion. If you're enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And once again, hit that red subscribe button below if you haven't already to keep up with my uploads. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel because there's just so much stuff coming in the next couple of months. I'm really excited to share it with you all. But thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.